Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi, my name is Valentina. I'm a makeup lover and a little test makeup product and in today's video I'm going to test a new mascara and uh, I have this new Clarence mascara. This is the new Wonder Volume Mascara XXL. I'm going to test this mascara for the first time today and I'm going to create this makeup look by using some of my favorite makeup products. So if you like what you see and want to find out more then keep on watching. In my last video I've tried this new Fenty Beauty Soft Lit Foundation for the first time and uh, they were test as a little update since my last video for this foundation. I have to say that I don't like this foundation. My skin looks good from far and in pictures with this foundation on, but up close my skin looks heavy and cakey. This is not a natural foundation. I also feel like this is breaking me out so I don't want to use it again today, but if you want to see the first impression video for this foundation and the wear test, I highly recommend you to check my last video. And for today I'm going to use one of my favorites, but first I want to apply my primer and uh, for my primer today I'm going to use this Your Forever Glow Star Filter. I want to use this again today with uh, one of my favorite foundations because my skin is a little bit dry and irritated right now and this Dior Forever Glow Star Filter makes the skin look uh, hydrated and healthy. So I'm going to apply this first. And next I'm going to apply my foundation and for today I want to use one of my favorites, this uh, Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. It's been a while since I've used it in my videos, but uh, I want to use it again today. I love that this doesn't emphasize the dry patches, my pores, my acne and my texture, has a nice natural finish and lasts all day on my skin. This is definitely in my top 10 favorite foundations. It's very good and uh, I highly recommend you to try it. And uh, I get the best finish if I apply this foundation with my beauty blender. Okay, very nice finish with these two as a base. I also want to mention that this Your Forever Glow Star Filter works with every foundation, doesn't have chunky glitter and uh, doesn't make my oily skin look uh, greasy or heavy. I also like that it's not breaking me out. Next I'm going to apply my concealer and for today I'm going to use this Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. I also use this as my eyeshadow base. I like to let my concealer sit for a little bit on my under eyes because I feel like in this way I get more coverage with a nice finish. And about this concealer, this is a very good concealer with nice coverage, a natural finish, is comfortable on the skin and lasts all day. So this concealer is very good and I highly recommend you to try it. And while I let the concealer sit, I'm going to apply my cream bronzer and uh, I'm going to use this healthy glow bronzing cream from Chanel. And I've been loving to apply this with my beauty blender lately. This cream bronzer is very good, doesn't emphasize my pores, my acne or my texture, has a nice natural finish, lasts all day on my skin. It's expensive but uh, we have a lot of product in here so uh, this will last you a very long time. Now I'm going to blend my concealer. Next I'm going to set everything in place with my powder and uh, for today I'm going to use this one from Laura Mercier, this uh, translucent loose setting powder. 
I don't like the color of this powder. This is in translucent, but uh, looks a little bit yellow on me. But the formula is amazing. Sets everything in place very nicely, blurs the pores, and my skin looks matte all day with this powder on. So I want to use it again today. Next I'm going to apply my blush and for today I'm going to use this blush from uh, Guerlain. This is the Terracotta blush in Deep Coral. I love this blush. This is amazing for everyday makeup. Has a nice buildable formula and is very long lasting. And for my highlighter, I'm going to use my favorite at the moment, this uh, Chanel Duo Lumiere Illuminating Powder Duo. I know I use this a lot in my videos, but uh, this is my favorite uh, at the moment. I like the finish of it, has that wet skin type of a finish that I like, doesn't have chunky glitter and lasts all day on my skin, so uh, I'm going to use it again today. And uh, on my skin, I love to mix these two colors. Like, look at how wet and gorgeous this looks on the skin. I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids too. I'm going to leave the eye makeup like this. I don't want anything too crazy on my eyes today because I have a new mascara to test and uh, I want you to see the finish of the mascara better. So in today's video, I'm going to test this new mascara from uh, Clarence. This is the new Wonder Volume Mascara XXL. This is how the packaging looks like. So this is the new Clarence Wonder Volume Mascara XXL. Extra volume, extra caring, long wear, enriched with sunflower wax, lash boosting complex. We get 8 milliliters, was made in Italy and has 6 months shelf life. This is very lightweight, I like the packaging. Let me show you how the wand looks like. This is my first Clarins makeup product. So let's try this new mascara. I'm going to apply it on this side first because I want to see how my lashes look with and without this mascara on. Let's see how much time we need to apply this mascara. So this is the finish after one coat. Let's add another layer. I'll try to apply on the bottom lashes too. And this is the finish with another layer. I want to see if the lashes will get clumpy with a third coat. 
So this is how my lashes looks with and without this mascara on after three coats. I love the volume and I feel like you can layer it as much as you like and will not get clumpy. I also like the formula. This is very pigmented, very black, very intense. I love it and was very easy to apply. I usually have a hard time applying my mascara on my bottom lashes, but uh, this was pretty easy to use on the bottom lashes. Now, let's apply it on this side too. I'm going to quickly apply something on my lips to finish with the makeup and uh, I'm going to give you my final impressions for this mascara after I finish my makeup. On my lips I'm going to use this uh, Huda Beauty Lip Contour in 2.0 Rusty Pink. I'm going to use this all over the lips as lipstick. I really love the color of this and I love the formula, it's nice and long lasting. And uh, this is the finished makeup result. Let me show you how my skin looks up close. Now, final impressions for my new mascara, this uh, Clarence Wonder Volume Mascara XXL. I love how my lashes look with this on. My lashes are curled, separated with volume and was very easy to apply. I love when I don't have to spend so much time to apply my mascara, especially when I'm in a hurry. And I also like that we can get different finishes with this mascara. You can get a nice natural finish for everyday makeup with just one coat. Or uh, if you like something like this, you can apply two or three layers. I like the packaging, I like the wand, it's nice and comfortable. I like the formula. So uh, for now I am very impressed about this mascara, but I'm very curious to see if this will transfer throughout the day on my under eyes. So I'll test this more until my next video and uh, I'll update you about everything then. I would love to know from you guys if you have this mascara and if you like it. And please let me know what other makeup products would you like me to test next but that's everything for today i hope this video is helpful and i hope you like it if you like it please give that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also ring the bell to be notified when i upload i post every week so make sure to hit the notification bell i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye